Hello dear YouTube, today I will be talking about my eBay finds. So obviously you know what eBay is, I hope. Um, it's like a site where people sell shit. Um, and I oftentimes like buy these like bits and bobs there and like sometimes it comes in and it's crap. Sometimes it's like super amazing. So I thought I would share with you like what I bought that was good. Maybe like mention some of the things that I didn't find that good just so that like you know. Maybe you didn't even know that you can buy stuff like that on eBay. So now you may be like really excited and like go buy stuff. By the way, in case my background looks messy, that's because it is messy. I have like two centuries of laundry to fold, so you know. I'm gonna start with some like accessories and kind of like weird stuff. So some of the things that like you can find on eBay are like tweezers. I got these like tweezer like for lashes, and I find them extremely useless. And I thought I would use them to like put my lashes on. But they just kind of like don't work because your lashes like don't sit in them properly. Like I don't know, it just doesn't doesn't work. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, but like, ugh, it just doesn't work. Um, but they were like 99p, so you know, if this is something you know how to use, then this would be useful and be better to buy it like on eBay, eBay rather than like in the shop. Also, I've got this like makeup brush cleansing thing which I thought would be like a little bit bigger I thought I could put my whole hand in it and then it would be great because I could like you know clean my brushes but it's only for like two fingers and so it keeps like sliding off and I don't know it's just not that great like I feel like my hand does an okay job I thought it would be helpful but it's not so if you were thinking about that it really isn't that great but it was like 99p again including shipping now I am also like a little bit crazy about sunglasses so I have loads of them and many of them are of eBay so I thought I would show you like some that I got off eBay and then like maybe link you to where I got them from so this first pair I actually bought it like once but they were proper like big round ones and then my cat threw them off the window sill but I like this little like thing very dolce so this is something you're into I'm gonna try to find a link to it and like all of these are really really cheap obviously because they were off eBay now moving on from that like kind of going with like accessories are eyelashes so I'm like crazy about eBay lashes I really don't see the point of buying like normal lashes in the store I do like the Ardell lashes and sometimes I buy my lashes from Beauty Essentials which is like a little shop in Norwich where I live but mostly, like 95% of the time, I buy eBay lashes. I don't buy the 10 pack ones because I find those are really shit. But these, like, five pair, which, like, I have loads of these, like, empty ones now. Um, these ones that have five pairs for one pound are, like, super amazing. These are the ones I'm wearing today. I linked all of my favorite uh, eBay lashes styles in my favorites video, so I'm gonna, like, link that down there if you want to like see them and these are ones that are uh, just come in the mail like this week i should probably say one thing though for some reason like if you buy these five pairs they won't all be the same like they kind of look the same but they're not actually and sometimes like the actual pair like won't be identical so you know sometimes that happens <laughs> but it's like a very slight difference and like you're paying like 99p or five pairs of eyelashes so you kind of have to expect they won't be perfect but I do really recommend these for like everyday wear like if I'm going out like to like a special event I would buy like the Ardell lashes that I know that they look perfect okay now let's go to makeup brushes so these are all the makeup brushes I have off eBay um, it's very hit and miss with eBay brushes like I just got some delivered the other day they're these three and I kind of thought they looked similar to the Morphe blending brushes but they're really not like they shed so much I just like obviously like clean them when they came so I could use them and they like literally shed so much and they are super scratchy like I know what I expect they were like 99p but some of the brushes I bought of eBay were amazing and they were really really cheap so it's not that I had high expectations for these, but like I don't think they would be that shit. Um, one of these, like this one, is not that bad. Like I actually, well, I used this one today, and I was kind of scratchy. This one feels softer, but like this black one is completely shit. I'm gonna link these two down below because they were like 99p. So 
if you are like starting out with makeup or if like you can't afford to buy expensive brushes these aren't that bad like I only wanted to try them because like I just I'm really lazy with washing my brushes and at the same time I do not have the money to buy like three of every set of brushes that I that I like so uh, you know I just wanted to give these a try and they're really not that good <laughs> apart from that I've already mentioned these brush sets that have kind of like wooden handles and they come in a set of 11 brushes I don't know if I'll be able to find all of them but there's kind of like one of every brush that you may need there's like a paddle foundation brush a little like powder brush um then like a contouring brush and there's like this which i like to use for my under eye concealer and i think there's like a blending brush and like concealer brush and all that um there's 11 of these and they cost about four pounds i bought this once and then i bought it again from a different seller and the second one wasn't as good so i'm gonna try to find the first one and link that down below because you guys this brush set is so soft such a good quality like i have washed these like a billion times they don't shed they're freaking amazing like for the price you have like it's just like mind-blowing that they're so good so i'm gonna link it down below and i think you should give it a try but do keep in mind it takes a long time to you know come in the mail next i'm gonna go on to like eyeshadow stuff i haven't really bought that many eyeshadows of ebay but i did buy this eyeshadow palette which was like two pounds sixty I basically, well, on the picture, this looked like an orange shade, this one, okay? Clearly it is not. <laughs> but I was, like, looking for a nice orange shade, like, Marsala thing, so I bought it. And, like, I'm not disappointed. I do really like it. I think I would, like, swatch, like, random colours. So, like, as you can see, like, it's quite pigmented. It does look a little bit patchy. Well, I did swatch it like an idiot. But they blend out really nicely. And let's just watch, like, another one. Ooh. and then like the orange one well this is like a transition color so it's not that visible um and then like the white one let's see the white one i don't have high expectations for the white one yeah you can't really see it basically what the deal is with this palette well let's try the black one yeah the black one okay. basically what the deal is with this palette is the colors aren't very pigmented which i like though because i was looking for a palette or like an eyeshadow which would be like cool toned and I could use it in my crease if I'm wearing like a bright like purple or cool toned lipstick so I didn't want anything too pigmented or like too warm or anything and this palette has like a lot of shades that look similar but like some of them I start using a lot and because they're not that pigmented they're like really easy to work with because you can't like overdo it so if you are a beginner and you're looking for like a neutral palette and you don't want like in great like urban decay like quality then this palette is all right like it's two pounds you guys like or like two pounds sixty or something like that something like ridiculously cheap so for that it's good like if you're not expecting like amazing pigmentation so i'll link it down below as well balloon below as well now on to the liquid lipsticks which is like my favorite part i'm gonna start or, like i'm gonna do it in order that i have had these so these are the me now long lasting liquid lipsticks i think everyone and their mama have heard about these they're basically like one of the first ebay liquid lipsticks that have everyone has been obsessed with i'm gonna swatch the two shades i have if i find out what shades these wait oh this is the shade 33 and then this is the shade 03 this is like a nude color this is like a dark brick color <laughs> um i was like really obsessed with these when i got them because i was like oh my god they're so long lasting but the problem with them is that they're super sticky like super 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 sticky i would have to like pile on translucent powder over them if they were on my lips um to be able to like live with it and the thing is that if you put your lips together like they would kind of like crumble or like they will like peel off like they do last really long time if you pile translucent powder over it and you don't touch your lips <laughs> so they are really not that great and everyone keeps obsessing over them and i'm just like they're really shit so unless you can live with those things don't buy these but they do have like 38 shades or something so and they are like 99p i think i bought them for like 68p or something so 
maybe give these a go if you want to. These next two are also by the brand Me Now. This is the two swatches. I'm like the worst swatcher ever. Um, again, like I went for the nude and like a dark vampy colour. The problem with these is that they are so super dry. Like they are so matte. They will like like a crumble off your lips. I don't know. Like they are just really not comfortable to wear. I bought one for my housemate as well. She kind of likes it. But again, like it's so, so dry that it's just really hard to wear. And like even to put on. Let me try like swatching it again. Like it. Well, it, like it's like a pencil, but it just like looks really weird. I don't know. Like, can you see how weird it is? So, again, they're really cheap. If you can live with the fact that they're super, super, super matte, then go for it. Sometimes I would use this as like a lip liner, and then I would put something else over it. Um, but like on its own, it's like really hard to work with them. And then the next kind of lipsticks I'm kind of like obsessed with. I have five shades, and maybe ordering a few more are these Key Best Lip Series Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Again, it's not a lip gloss, it's a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna swatch these as well. These have kind of limited selection of shades. I think there's like 12 shades or something like that. Um, some of them are really nice purples though. So if you want to try a nice purple lipstick, give these a go. Like they are a little bit more expensive than this one. I think they're like one pound 30 or something like that. Still free shipping and all that. But they are just so beautiful. Okay. So these are the these are the four that I have. I mean, I have another one, but I, like God knows where that is. They are so pigmented. Like this is one swipe. Uh, on my finger now. So apparently, my camera likes to cut out after like a certain amount of time that you spend recording. So I am back here the next day to finish recording this. The last thing I mentioned yesterday were these lipsticks. Um, I'm actually wearing one of them today, and that's this one in the shade. 22. That's what it looks like. And even though those were my favourite lipsticks for the longest time ever, I then discovered these. I'm Magic Professional Cosmetics Beauty Lip Gloss. They're not lip gloss, they're liquid lipsticks. This is the one shade that I have, but um, I already ordered four more because like the formula of these is so nice. They just feel very comfortable in the lips. They're very close to Jared Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, so I definitely wanted to give a few more of these shades a go because they are like so much more cheaper. Also, most of these come in like nudie, like or vampy colors, so they're very like in and like hip and all that. And these are a little bit more expensive; they're about one pound sixty-five, I believe, but still like ridiculously cheap compared to like other liquid lipsticks out there. And then the last thing I'm gonna mention is my lipstick holder, which is kind of empty now because I took all like <laughs> the liquid lipsticks out. Um, this is also of eBay. It was like two pounds something. Um, normally when you buy these in stores they're much more expensive so I rec recommend like getting your um, acrylics makeup holders from eBay um, they are gonna be like a little bit lower quality like mine arrived and like this little like edge here is broken but again like it's only like holding my lipsticks I really don't care and I think I got eBay where these little gemstone thingies I usually like to use eyelash glue and to like put it like under here or like in my t like near my tear duct and or like on my lips and things like that. I think they're really nice for like extravagant makeup looks and they were like one pound There's like a bunch of different sizes you can pick different colors and stuff like that Also another thing I got off eBay was this like phone case thing. Um, mine is actually broken Like they are not that good quality, but it did protect my phone Like I dropped my phone many times and it was it was the case that broke not my phone So that's great and they were like one pound and I just like love design because it says because cats and I ordered another one that's got crying Kim K on it. I'm going to link that down below as well. You can, mine's for like my HTC phone, but they have different iPhones as well. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry this video has been like such a mess. But, you know, things happen. Um, hope this was helpful. And see you in my next video.